Hey everybody, Carl from Twin Moons Tavern. Um, obviously this format is very different than anything I've done before in the past and bears a little explanation. Um, the whole reason I started the channel to begin with, I've always envied the Andrew Zimmers and the Anthony Bourdain's of the world and thought that they had the most amazing job. You know, they get to travel around the world, they get to meet interesting people and they get to experience that culture and understand that culture over food. You know, I've traveled through dozens of countries in the world. I grew up in the restaurant industry. I know my way around the kitchen. The thing that I always missed with traveling and trying new foods and stuff like that is the inability to necessarily share that with other people. So those food travel shows were it. The culmination of so much of what I love. But you know, while I've done a lot of traveling, while I'm good in a kitchen, no one was going to give me a TV show. I didn't even bother because that's just kind of a pipe dream. Fast forward to last summer, I have some time on my hands. So I say to myself, self, I says, we're living in the future. YouTube is a thing. And there's no reason why I can't make my own show. Yeah, it's going to be low budget, but... I'll enjoy doing it. If I get some followers, great. If, if nothing else happens, I can say that I did it. And I have a tiny, tiny following, but the people that do follow it seem to enjoy it, and they learn a trick or two about cooking, and that's all great. Now it's time for me to take the next step of where I really want to take the channel, which is traveling to new places, meeting new people, and experiencing their culture with them over some really delicious food. So, here we are. Uh, this is gonna be my first trip, and you know, if you like this kind of thing, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe, please share it. I really can only afford to do this kind of video a couple of times a year, because it costs some money. If the channel gets big enough where I can monetize it, that monetization is gonna go directly into being able to do these videos more often and bigger and better quality so please like and subscribe uh, share it with people that you think might enjoy it other than that we'll just go ahead and move to the video so here we go hey welcome to twin moons tavern today we're doing something a little different today we're just doing simple campfire burgers that we're going to serve to some Appalachian through hikers quick special thanks to volunteers and donations from Victoria Hamrick Stephen Oppelt and Vanessa O'Neill Flaherty the Appalachian Trail is a hiking trail that runs from Springer Mountain in Georgia all the way up to Mount Katahdin in Maine. The total distance is over 2,100 miles. Thousands of hikers from around the country and even around the world come to the Appalachian Trail every year to attempt what's called a through hike, which is hiking from one end to the other end of the Appalachian Trail within one calendar year. For most people this takes between five and seven months and for many this will be the most intense hiking experience that they will ever have in their lives. As somebody who did an attempt at the through hike several years ago, I really understand the importance of somebody showing up with a hot meal unexpected. It can really turn around somebody's morale. Because of this, my first on the road episode, I wanted to be for them. I've set up a small feeding station where today I'm making hikers cheeseburgers as they come walking through. Simple recipe. You just start off with the basic 80-20 meat, 80% lean meat, 20% fat. Uh, you've heard me say it before, the 20% fat provides a decent amount of flavor, uh, while the 80% beef uh, gives you a nice bite to the burger. Simply form it into a patty. Remember not to overwork the ground beef. Once the patty is made, we're going to put a dimple in on each side. This is going to keep it from puffing up in the middle and turning into a football shape. We're just doing a real simple seasoning of salt and pepper. I am putting a little bit more salt than I normally would out here. These hikers actually need a little bit more salt than the average person. Then we're just going to simply put it over our, our hot coals. The rack that I'm using is only an inch or two off the coals. Normally you'd want it closer to four to six inches. That'll give you a slower cook and a more even temperature throughout the burger. But being camping, you kind of have to deal with what you have. We're going to do about two to three minutes on the first side and flip it over. While the burger is cooking, I'm also prepping my vegetables. I'm going to slice me up some tomatoes, 
First I'm going to go ahead and slice off a small section off the side. This allows a stable base for me to slice the rest of the tomato up. It's much safer that way. Next I'm going to go and do an onion, taking off the top, taking off one side of it like I did with the tomato, and then peeling it. Once it's peeled, just doing a simple slice as well. After the burger's been on its second side for a couple of minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and add a slice of cheese and let that start to melt. Once the cheese is starting to get melty, go ahead and take it off, let it rest for a second. While the burger's resting, I'm just going to go ahead and toast the buns real quick. Because of how close the rack is to the coals, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, and definitely, if it's this close, keep an eye so you don't burn them up. I'm taking the bottom of a piece of my roll, putting on some mustard, onions, tomato, lettuce. I put all that stuff on the bottom so that any of the juices of from the burger don't run down into the bun making it soggy. And there you have it. Real super simple recipe. Again, I was having some technical issues. There was actually a lot more footage and a lot more detail. I'll have to revisit this idea at a later point in time and do it again. Hey everybody, just got back from the trail. Um, I am beat and I'm exhausted. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, was out there for a 24 hour period of time, uh, met and fed probably about, probably about 30 hikers through that period of time. Um, you know, established groups like the Blue Blazing Hobos, um, brand new groups like the Minnesota Hikings, a lot of individuals, uh, people that are just out of high school, people that are retired, um, people that uh, are kind of embracing the, the whole uh, nomadic life and that are van lifers and, and things like that. Um, there's a guy who his wife is uh, overseas uh, deployed and he's taking the time when she's there to do an attempt on the, the trail. Um, you know, uh, lots of great people. Uh, I had a really great time, and I still got to unpack, and I still got to look at all the video footage, uh, and see what kind of videos I can cobble out of it. But I'm hopeful that there's some good content, and um, regardless how this video turns out, it is a direction I want to go with the channel, um, and basically travel someplace, uh, get to know some of the, the community and, um, you know, see how we're alike, see how we're different and, uh, have, you know, a little fellowship over some food. Um, that's again, ultimately where I want to go with the channel. Um, so tell me what you think about it. Uh, you know, if you, if you like, that kind of content. If you like to see more, subscribe, comment, like, all of that stuff. Uh, it would really help the growth of the channel out. And you know, we'll see how it goes from there. So um, in the meantime, thank you to everybody who showed up. Uh, thank you to the volunteers and the donations. That, thank you to the volunteers and the donations that I got. Um, it made it a success and uh yeah we'll see you next time you guys take care and have a good day bye